Bye, YouTube. This is Bayou. And by the way, I uh, finally got it in the mail yesterday. This new aluminum canteen cap stand. Here it is, guys. Um, Sherman. That's who uh, I'm going to give him the credit because he was the first person that brought to my attention this type of uh, canteen. And yes, it does fit properly under the canteen cup, U.S. Army or Marines. And it fits okay. And you can put it inside the butterfly handles, no problem. See? And guess what? If you have a Chinese copy, cameraman, over here real quick. Like I have over here, the black one, because I have a black white with gear with, with, with the uh, with the condor uh, water bladder and the condor uh, first aid pouch, everything black. I want to look military. Uh, it fits properly, so you don't have a problem. Now, this has the two pieces of stainless steel metal. The cup itself is aluminum, but the bars stainless steel. And when they come up, as long as you uh, keep it straight, uh, it fits properly. Okay. Now, this is the uh, the new version, or almost a copy of the World War II kind, 1945-1946 that the Army has. This is not original, guy. Even though, uh, by not original, meaning the idea, uh, it has, it, it's very close to the. 1940s that the army had. I'm not saying it is the same, but very close to it. The other thing was these these pins right here they were facing up this this lump, these holes. And then right here in the middle they have a little square for the old army, not the round one, but the rectangular uh, I don't even remember the name of those uh, the spills back then. But this is a very close copy. The only issue with this one is this is Face the other way, so you can put the cup over here. And some of you know about that one. Right? That wasn't my time. Right? But it's too high from the peel to the canteen cup. Now this one is perfect. Look at it. You see it? It's perfect. Oh, it's about one and a half, maybe two inches from the canteen. You put the lid and you boil water. Okay. Uh, this, of course, I bought it from South America, stainless steel, old um, Harrow. Um, producer, what's the technical name? She says, he, she, she doesn't know. And the Spanish name is Harrow, or Harrow. He's like a big cup pot. <laughs> and, of course, there's more ones. This is a little bit more than a cup. I think it's a... Uh, uh, 250 millimeters, so this is a little cup, which is divided by four. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put some water that already pre-measured. I don't want a whole cup. And it fits over here. So you have one, the big one, this is uh, one and a half liters. Two, three, and the old Jugo, or Serbian. Serbia or Yugoslavia, most of the time. Uh, it fits perfectly here, and even if you have a big bite of a frying pan, this is fine. Probably, if you're not using wood, if you're not using wood, this will be a little bit better. If you're using wood, this is going to be better. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to hopefully light this up without burning myself. And then once it's, uh, once it's up, uh, we're going to go ahead and time it, guys, without cheating. So I want, to, I want you to know how long does it take to boil water, okay? Not yet. Let, let, it, let it get on fire. So put it over here. Time. I'll be right back with you when it's boiling, YouTube. Okay, guys. 4 4.13. It's boiling uh, and I have only used probably half of the pill okay 
Now, I'm gonna go ahead without burning myself. I got burned one time real bad. Mark my my stomach and my leg. I know it wasn't my fault. So I'm gonna put it on the I know my uh, producer that gave me this picture. Okay. And I want you to take a look, cameraman, can you take a look at the uh, pill? Whatever is left. Here's the original, guys. Right next to it. So, it's cool already. Take a look. Right there, one, bit, one in front of the other one. The one that I used to boil a cup of water and the brand new one. So if you use the right size of container with the proper lid, you will not use a whole of, uh, coglan. This is the coglan. Oops, it's really hot. So uh, as you can see, I put an aluminum base so I don't ruin it. You know, I like to have the stuff clean. I think I told you the difference between a private in the army and a staff sergeant. Okay. So, let's talk about this uh, G7 uh, Vietnamese coffee. And, and, and if you look some of my old video, I'll show a G20 bag. I, I still got it in there, but I guess the G7 is now what, what it had. Now, it used to be G8, but you know the Western so-called powers kicked kick my compadres out of the club, meaning the Russian. <laughs> and they are now part of the G7. And the way the situ economic situation is, uh, uh, I don't think it's going to, G7 going to last because Germany, uh, uh, mine and uh, 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 Deutsche people, flowingly, flowingly meet uh, Ruski people, Ruski Leute. Uh Merkel was in Germany three days ago and uh, Putin gave him a bouquet of flowers maybe three dozen roses different color. I mean, almost like a boyfriend and girlfriend because the Russians now understand that Germany is what the future is and the Germans know that the Russian is what the future is. So, you can call me a liar, but I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. The Russian-German union is economic, okay? Uh, so, uh, now in Italia, the uh, Cinque Trella, this is the five stars party, which is extreme left. Don't ask me how and what happened in hell or in heaven, but it's incomprehensible. Far right joined the far left, and they are now the government in Italy, and they already said they're going to drop the U.S. sanction against the Russians because they are losing money, and that is true, guys. Uh, when you talk about your pocket, I don't care what mama said. It's your money or my money, and I worry about my money before anybody else. So the Italians are dropping the sanction, and, and, and political, political, economical, we, we, uh, we're losing ground, guys. I know some of you might not like it, but hey, I call it like it is. And then I send you to read and you understand what's, what's going on. So, keep in mind this right here, the right container, okay, can save you a lot of uh, equipment. Okay, this off, see? So now I can make two cups of coffee. Look at it. A little bit high. Okay, right there. Can you see it? So uh, this is a stainless steel. No, these are not Chinese guys. I bought these in South America. They are Hindu. Hindu. Like the pack that I showed you before that you can see in all videos. Okay, you two. So, question. Is this Mickey Mouse uh, so-called French? Aluminum canteen cup stand is a good buy. The answer is yes. I don't know why uh, John Sherwood said uh, it's French. I researched the internet and he's the only one that says it's French. Maybe the guy that sent it to him uh, called it French, but I don't think the French has this. This is not French kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, it's working fine, guys. And uh, do I recommend this? Yes. Now, if you have a truck, we talked about this before. This is what is called closed fire. So can you put it in the back, or can you put it on on, on top of your uh, uh, pickup truck little box, or on, right next to your bed, or right next to the sink, and control the fire? The answer is yes. It's getting it's getting uh, it's getting cold a little bit. It's too warm. 
and uh, what was it? Four me four minutes and what? No, it was uh, six minutes. Four minutes and thirty some seconds. Four minutes and thirty two seconds for a nice warm cup of coffee, or you want to put cocoa, you want to make a Lipton cup of soup or maruchan or whatever. Let me taste it first. Mm. Pretty good, guy. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to my old subscribers. Oh, uh, I hope you can read this. <laughs> I finally found it. I bought it a long time ago. Yes, it's, it's a Russian copy of the Coughlin. Uh, I think it has five, but this is more, more like a souvenir, like a memento. I'm not going to use it. Maybe when I'm dead, they use it, but no one not alive. I bought five because I said, I don't have this one. And, what, and it smells the same. Stinky fish. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Behave.